Hi, I'm Adam from DoingTheDrama.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how to export video in Adobe After Effects. This is when you take the project that you produce, the, when you produce the final video, which you'll be using to upload to the internet or burn to DVD or whatever you'd like to do with it. But first, you need to know, making a video file with Adobe After Effects is a lot like making love to a beautiful woman. It's not like the other software out there. This one is special. You don't just click on File, Export, no. You have to do something more. You have to go to the Composition menu and click on Add to Render Queue. Then go down to the Render Queue window where the timeline is and you will see all the videos you've got to render. When you um, have got your video in the, you can see here in the Render Queue, you can click on the lossless the text there to be able to change your settings. Now I'm not going to go through the whole list of all the different settings that there are because that would take too long and I'm currently discussing the different comp compression methods in my blog at dudeinadrama.com. I've already done H264 so go check it out. Um, there's a few quick tips though. I'm just going to use these are the different formats that you can you save as. I quite like QuickTime and then you can click on the format options to change anything you'd like to change about it oh, like two, six, four. and also don't forget to change the frame rate, it's important to make sure the frame rate is the same as your composition and I'll show you in a second how to find that out but I'm just going to click for oh, that is 25 and you'll see this this, this this one please change the frame rate in the render settings dialog I don't know why it does that, it's a dialog box to do it there but it won't let you um, but to go and change the frame rate, you can just close that dialog box. If you have your composition selected, you can see up here the frame rate of that composition. And if you go down to the render settings, click where it says best quality, you can see over here the frame rate. And it's currently on use comp frame rate 25, which I think is the default setting for After Effects, just in case you forget to make sure it's the same but I always like to check anyway. And then when you click on this, if you just as a few little tips, if you've got audio in your composition, make sure you have audio output selected. If you if you want you can play around with these settings just to tweak the um, file size a bit. There's a rough guide, C D audio is twenty forty four point one kilohertz, sixteen bit and in stereo so you can subtract or add to this to get the desired effect if you're going to be exporting into you know, HD DVD then you maybe want to go for 48 kilohertz but for for web audio I don't see what the point of that is and um, it's a quick little fact for you that the human hearing range is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz and CD audio is designed to fill the whole hearing range of the human ear and some say that the body can pick up frequencies and that's why vinyl is better than CD and um, sort of a high quality 5 foot run surround system where you've got huge speakers and crazy sound systems you might want to go for 48 kilohertz but on a web video that's going to be played back on somebody's laptop speakers and max quality it's just going to be pointless so yeah I just, CD quality is good enough you can drop that if your file sizes are a bit too big and when you're satisfied you just click on OK. To set the location where you'd like to save your video go to the output to and click on the file name there and you'll open up the dialog box and you can save where you want the video to be saved. And then when you've done all of that you can go down to render and you just click render and it will export your video. Now this is going pretty fast and you might be thinking to yourself Holy smokes, Adam from DoingTheDrama.com, that rendered really fast. Why isn't my video rendering this fast? Well, that's because this video is seven seconds long and nothing really happens. Usually rendering a video takes a long time, so don't forget to bring a book or have Messenger open to keep you busy. Just like making love to a beautiful woman. I've been Adam from DoingTheDrama.com, and I've just shown you how to export and render video in Adobe After Effects.